So when I was doing the other videos with the sergeants, I had one that wouldn't uh, lock closed on a consistent basis. So I decided to take it apart and see what's going on with that. I think I found the problem. I was I when I assemble these things, I use a number two pencil to provide some graphite for lubrication around here, and I think I had too much down into the uh, this chamber here, and that was causing the ball to stick. But to go back, what I want to do is, I, since I had this apart, I thought we might as well do a little video and show what the pieces are. And perhaps on a second video I can try to assemble this um, with one hand. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, the, it's made up of these five component parts. you got the uh, shank and the top half of the coupler. We're actually looking at the bottom of this piece right here. The bottom side uh, cover, the locking ball, and the knuckle. The main shank has a chamber, so you can get a good view of this. There we go. Has a chamber down in the inside the coupler body. Right there. And this is where the ball rises into when you put hover the magnet over the uh, coupler, the ball rises up into that pocket and that allows the uh, coupler to unlatch the knuckle rather to, to unlatch. Also on this view you can see uh, this little ear here that's used to, uh, that's, that's the actual pivot that the knuckle swings on and there is a hole back here that is the place that the pin on the bottom half cover press fits into. Um, and I'll show you that here so it flip this over. Okay so this is the bottom half so this is if you were lo just looking down uh, towards the ground after this is assembled anyway. This has a pin here in the back that is a press fit into the hole I just mentioned. And that's uh, tight enough that it'll stay up there uh, on a quick assembly but Sergeant recommends putting some CA glue, just a small drop here to hold it in place. Um, the You can see here is an ear also, this is the other part of the pivot for the knuckle. There's also a small chamber here on this side and that's to allow the ball to drop down far enough to uh, put its center of center line in front of the knuckle so it stays locked. The ball itself the knuckle. So we're looking at the front side here. So when the coupler is locked, let's give you I guess, when the coupler is locked the ball drops down in front of this little tongue keeps it there, keeps it locked. Also has these two holes and that's the pivots for that fit into the ears once it's assembled. 